it's just incredible that I get to actually be on the cover with my girls and that's just insane. It's a dream. The girls of Fifth Harmony just claimed their first cover of Billboard Mag with a sexy photo shoot. Plus, they're dishing on everything we want to know from surviving their rise to fame to their latest album. In the words of Dinah herself, the girls are showing the world that they finally have a damn voice. Talking about their X Factor rise to fame, the article describes how fans are eager to get behind what may prove to be the biggest phase of the group's career. With the latest album 727 about to release in a few weeks, Dinah said, quote, we feel like actual artists. We were little babies in the beginning. Now we're becoming big girls. And we couldn't agree anymore. I mean, anyone else remember this X Factor fetus moment? Look at them now. Camila even touched on the fact that this new album is going to be their rebirth, poking fun. She said, quote, 727 is a jet and we're about to take flight. You know what I mean? Um, yes, yes we do. Seeing that work from home made records as the first girl group song to break into the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100 in eight years. <laughs> The group was even asked about the whole Kanye West, I made that bitch famous lyric, referring to Taylor Swift, and Camila, you know, being her friend, replied by saying, quote, I spoke to Taylor and she did not know that he was going to say that, taking credit for her success and then saying you owe me sex for that? Disgusting. But when asked to share their highs and lows from the past year, Camila answered that she used to have terrible anxiety nonstop. Two hours after she'd wake up, she'd nap because her body was so hyperactive. And she even said, quote, I realized the stuff I thought was important isn't worth my health, saying now I write in my diary every day, work out, and meditate. Allie added that the girls work so hard at such a young age while all their other friends were in college, telling them about their days and what they were studying. Plus, she said it's hard to be on the road so much when they're all very family oriented. Dinah even mentioned that she couldn't fly home for the funeral of her great grandmother, so instead she had to watch her be buried on FaceTime. In the end though, the girls mentioned that they've all had hard times, but they go through it together and that's what makes them special. Finally, Lauren ended the interview in the best way saying, quote, this has been an incredible journey and it will continue as long as it can. We're learning the business, meeting people, getting knowledgeable about our craft. This is basically Basically us being in college for our majors. Majors of going solo? I'm kidding. But I do want to know what you guys think about the interview. Do you believe this new album is going to be the group's rebirth? Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And then hey, you can click right over here to hear Fifth Harmony's newest song that was just released today. Also subscribe to our channel. I'm Ryland Adams at Ryland Adams on Instagram. Thanks for hanging. I will see you soon. For more clever videos, click to the left to check out the most anticipated summer movie determined on Debatable, or click over to the right to watch us throw it back in honor of all the TV moms from your childhood.